oh dear. Sorry, it had to be done. You can unsubscribe now. Today we're combining simple ink shapes with strange colour combinations of watercolour drips. What should I talk about in this video though? If you have a topic I should talk about in one of these videos, please let me know in the comments. Well, now let's see. What inspired me to draw this artwork? Nah, screw that. Let's learn something about deer together. I'm going to quickly google some facts so we can get all educational together. If you know a random fact about deer, please leave a comment. Did you know that the deer family has over 47 different species? That includes elk, reindeer and moose. The smallest deer species weighs about 9 kilos or 20 pounds and is just 36 centimeters tall. That's tiny! And the biggest deer ever found was the Irish elk which has been extinct for over 7,000 years. They were 7 feet tall and weighed up to 700 kilos or 1,543 pounds. Holy shit. I think the smallest deer species really got the short end of the stick for sure. But then again, they're still alive. So why did the Irish elk go extinct? Like mammoths and many huge animals, they were often made extinct through overhunting. At least that's one theory of why Irish elk went extinct. Another theory is that the vegetation they needed was sparse, or that their huge antler size made it very difficult for them to navigate the forests in order to find food. Irish elk needed a lot of calcium in their diet, and when they couldn't get enough, they could suffer from a condition similar to osteoporosis, where their bones and antlers were brittle and prone to fractures and breaks. Tell that to your hairdresser. Deer are said to be native to all continents except for Antarctica and Australia. They are extremely adapted to their environments. I was also surprised to find out that there's only one deer species which is actually native to Africa, the red deer. The only male deer species which don't grow antlers are the Chinese water deer. The antlers of deer consist of the fastest growing living tissue in the world. The eyes of deer allow them a huge 310 degree view in order to watch out for predators and find food. Well, there you have it. I feel more educated about deer. Do you? Thanks for watching and seriously, I'm not sorry for that pun at the start of the video. Deal with it.